Governor, uh, one of the you got a uh, one issue out in front of everything, as we know, SB 1070. That judge pretty much gutted it. Where do you see that law a year from now? Well, you know, as we move through the process, I believe strongly that it is constitutional. Legal counsel, not only from Arizona but throughout the country, say that it's constitutional and it mirrors the federal law. So how can it not be constitutional? We're going to win this, and the judge did indeed make. Uh, an injunction, but they just put it on temporarily. We're still going through the court process. And it was interesting, I thought, that the Obama administration uh, said it was all about racial profiling. That was the big issue. You know, they're all talking and they hadn't even read the bill, but it was all about racial profiling. It's not about racial profiling because racial profiling is illegal. In Arizona, it's illegal in America. We will win this and we will be relentless, relentless in our pursuit as we go through the process. Uh, just one other question for me. Uh, we see this uh, so-called boycott from California. They've been especially strong on it. A lot of celebrities as well. We don't seem to think it's had much of an effect here in Havasu. What about the rest of the state? Have you well, seen you know, some people will tell you that it's had a terrible impact on, on, on Arizona. Some people will tell you it had a little impact on Arizona. But we've got lots of people coming here just to support Arizona. So we're encouraged, you know. When you compare the last few years with the previous years, the recession has brought a lot of people not being able to spend the kind of dollars that they can. But the bottom line is, is that we're a nation of laws, and we're going to enforce our laws in Arizona. One, one final thing. Do you feel comfortable all the way through the general election? Do you think you got a, a challenge ahead of you <laughs> after the primary? You know, any good politician would tell you that they, you always work really hard. You take it very seriously, and I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to go out and tell the people the truth and uh, ask them for their vote, and I hope that I win their confidence. All right, Governor. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you all very much. Thank you so very much. Actually, did, just had a couple of follow-up questions for you. Now, traditionally, I know that uh, tourism in Arizona is focused on the Phoenix and Tucson areas. What are you planning to do to try to bring more attention to the outlying areas like Lake Havasu? Well, you know, my Office of Tourism has done a whole lot. We've got a website. We've got where we have package deals all over Arizona, uh, from the north to the south to the east to the west. We've worked with the people up in Lake Havasu, certainly, uh, in all kinds of areas to try to encourage people, and certainly people in the tourism business have did wonderful packages you know, and from everybody that has contacted my office in regards to Arizona, they love us. They're supporting us, and they're coming, and they're coming in big groups, so I feel very confident. All right, excellent. Um, our local PED, the Partnership for Economic Development, told us that they're having a lot of difficulty trying to draw businesses here. What kinds of things are you trying to do to help smaller businesses come? Well, the areas? bottom line, and we know that rural Arizona and small business is so important for our economy. That's why I did away with the Department of Commerce and, and established a, a commerce authority with leading CEOs from within Arizona that are proven successful business people. And we've got a plan. And I'm going to sit on that and any other governor will sit on there for five years. Meaning that if there's a new governor that comes in, it, it it's not disrupted in other words. Those people will sit there and those plans will move forward. We're looking at uh, tax reform so we will be more competitive. And not only that, we have uh, um, insisted that we make it easier to do business in Arizona. Uh, you know, we're helping people to cut through the red tape and the green tape. I put a moratorium on all the rules and regulations. That's the first thing that I did. And we've been out there working. And just in the 500 days that I've been in office, we have brought in thousands of jobs, new jobs, into Arizona and over a billion dollars in hard capital assets. And we're still working. The Arizona comeback has started. The Arizona comeback has started. And we're we're going to keep working. The economy is important to us. What, what kinds of industries do you think are going to lead the way in the economy? In the you know, I, I think it's going to be high tech, biomedicine, solar. Uh, we've had six or seven different solar companies, manufacturing companies come in. We've got APS, the Salt River Project, working on solar panel energy. Um, we were just designated as the best um, state in the country for solar uh, at Site Selection Magazine. That's huge. And we just opened up the one of the largest ones, Rio Glass, uh, in the city of Surprise, a small little city um, in Arizona that uh, is going to be uh, uh, making uh, production of the curved solar panels. And you know, when we have those kinds of manufacturing plants in Arizona, there's a trickle, trickle down effect. You know, it's not only employees, I don't need to tell you that, but you know, the trucking, the packaging, the whole the whole nine yards. I am very excited about Arizona's future. I'm going to work hard. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.